I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have some fun things that we picked up at the Celtic Fair. While it was primarily Scottish oriented, it seemed like, we did run across these Welsh cakes. And I had heard of Welsh cakes and never, not something you would ever find here really. No. And we also found these ginger lassies. This is by McLaren's. They did do shortbread as well. That was one of the things they were selling and we got to sample a few things, but um, these ginger lassies, these are ginger molasses cookies and they're, we got a little quick sample of them and they, they were really good. And these are the spicy ones. So they also contain cayenne pepper. But we're really looking forward to the Welsh cakes because this is so unusual. And um, looking at the back, we did get what they call classic traditional. So they had different ones. They had some with the currants in them and Ross noted too that they actually described what the currants were like little raisins since currants are not Very as fun. well known here. Yeah. Um, they also had blueberry, I think, lemon poppy seed. Did lemon you say? poppy seed. Um, as you can see, the circular ones that they have here. They also had them in bars. Yeah, so they had the different shape too. And it I mean, notice on the back it says, in Wales, the jury is out on whether or not traditional means with or without currants added. We say they're delicious either way. I was I was tempted by the currants. I thought that'd be really tasty. But I thought, let's just go ahead and try the plain ones first. So let us know in the comments if you are from Wales, if you consider traditional to be plain like this or with currants. So it looks like the person... The owner of this company is originally from Wales and she started making these cakes because it says when I was a little girl growing up in Wales, I could have never dreamed that I would one day be spreading the joy of Welsh culture in America. From my signature hand griddle Welsh cakes to traditional baked goods, it is with great pride that I make these by hand every week as my ancestors have done for centuries. I share these delicacies with you so you and your family can experience the warmth and charm of Welsh culture of her there on the back so definitely looking forward to trying these recommended to heat them up and one of the recommendations was butter and jam so I think that's what we're gonna try we actually have some huckleberry jam that I got from a trip to the Northwest yes. all right so we'll be right heat these up and be right back all right we're back we just quickly heated these up and put a little butter on them and are you ready for some jam? Mm. Oh, yeah. How's it smell? Good. Mm. It smells real good. Yeah, and it does mention, mm. again, hand griddled, not baked. So I never had one before. Me neither. But you know, what I was going to say is, uh, I thought there was something called a Johnny Cake, which was, uh -huh. I thought something like, something like this that was... Yeah, prepared on a griddle. I don't know if it was kind of the equivalent to Welsh cakes. I'm not sure. Thank you, for, by the way, for picking this up when you're out. You're welcome. We have our, both of us have a cup of tea. This is actually the Jubilee, Platinum Jubilee blend that Richard got for us. Yes, thank you. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Yep. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Mmm. Those oh, are nice. Yeah. I think I read it was described as like between a combination like between a soft cookie, a pancake, and a scone maybe? I don't remember the exact description, but yeah. Uh, I, I was just thinking that to me it's, it reminds me of a combination of a cookie and a pancake. And a pancake, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. Mmm. Just a nice, light, sweet flavor to it. Very nice. Yeah, I like the texture of it too. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, those are really enjoyable. I like that. Yeah, I'm glad we picked those up. I wasn't sure what to expect because they looked just so plain. Yeah. But they have a really, really lovely flavor to them, I think. Yeah, these are really good. Mm-hmm. 
Makes me curious to try some of the other flavors too. Mm -hmm. I mean, the nice thing about these, just the regular plain ones, all the different toppings you could put on them, different flavors of jam. Ice cream? Yeah, I think ice cream was even mentioned on there. Um, I think honey I saw, and I even heard of serving it just with, um, heated with sugar on top mm. for just something more simple. Yeah. Yeah, those are good. I, I wasn't sure what to expect. I didn't know if these were going to be mm -hmm. flaky, were they going to fall apart, how delicate they're going to be. Mm -hmm. They are light. Uh, I think when you're putting butter on it, you're being careful. Yeah, because they felt like they could crumble pretty easily. Yeah. And um, that clotted cream is also mentioned on there. I do have a tiny, tiny jar of clotted cream. You know, I'm kind of curious to try it with uh, clotted cream as well. Maybe next time we have them. The bad, sad thing is though we can't get fresh clotted cream here. Or at least the one time we saw it at Whole Foods, we went back and it was gone. They don't carry it. We just get the jarred kind, which I, I'm sure is nowhere close to as good as, as having it fresh. Yeah, you're saving it for a special occasion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, unfortunately, we, you know, just yesterday was the first time we saw these. We don't see these. You know, typically, when we go shopping, mm -mm. now that we've had these, like if if we saw these in the store, I'd pick these up all the time. Yeah, these are nice. Now I looked at the website, and it sounds like they don't sell them in stores. You pretty much either have to buy direct from them, or they go around to a lot of these fairs. Okay, well that answers that. Yeah. So um, I think I did read though that you can buy them and I believe the shipping is included. So whatever you pay, you're not paying extra for shipping. Yeah. Because you know how shipping can be. <laughs> pay, pay dollars for four. Uh, four ounces, an ounce per cake. Mm -hmm. But yeah, these are good. They're very good. Well, and they're handmade too, as, mm -hmm. as it mentions on there. So. Yeah. Enjoyable. And these are also made by hand, it says on the back, the Ginger Lassies. So here after we have those lovely Welsh cakes, we're going to follow up with the more flavorful Ginger Lassies. And the person working the booth had mentioned these are also good with chocolate ice cream. Put chocolate ice cream in, put two together, and make like an ice cream sandwich. I thought, oh. Really good. Sounds really good. <laughs> and these have cayenne pepper, but when we try to sample, did you, were you getting the heat? No, she said it comes later. I didn't feel too much, but they do have cayenne. They're the, the spicy kind. It's interesting they've got Queen Elizabeth the first on there. Are the original ginger lassies maybe? I don't know. Um, this does have molasses, ginger, cinnamon, clove, baking soda, and cayenne pepper. Yeah, so I'm not seeing any preservatives. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything we can't pronounce. Right. <laughs> Just like if your mom was making them. Yes. All right, looking try forward to trying more of it. We just had a little sample of it, so... Mm. Yeah, these are soft cookies. I think I am getting a little bit more spice this time. Me too. <laughs> Maybe she gave us the wrong one. Maybe she gave us... <laughs> just the regular one. The regular, not the spicy. Now mm -hmm. I'm getting this. Or it's just because we've had a bigger piece of it than the sample we got. No, I think she gave us the wrong one. <laughs> For a sample yesterday, I think she gave us the wrong one. I'm get, definitely getting heat on this. Yeah. It's good though. I mean, mm -hmm. the ginger and molasses. I just I love molasses cookies anyway. Yeah, me too. Mm. Very good. Moist, strong ginger taste. Mm -hmm. The heat's not bad. No, it's not. Just a little, little something. Just it gives a little little tingle in your throat and tongue. Mm -hmm. Reminds yeah. you like. Mm -hmm. We had the ginger nuts. And then we had um, the fiery ones. The fiery ones. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to remember what they were called. And like those have a little bit more spice to them. Yeah. 
Those have more kick. We do like the fiery ones. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are good. Yeah. These are two good choices. Mm -hmm. As far as when we were out, you know, we picked these up. I don't know about you, but I, I don't recall seeing any other like setups where they had shortbread, other biscuits, desserts. I think there's only really two that I recall. Yeah, these were two different stands. I saw people with different, looked like caramel popcorn, maybe. Well, uh, caramel popcorn. <laughs> but, but I wasn't sure what that was all about. But yeah, these these looked especially, yeah, especially good. Yeah, this one only, I'm trying to remember what all she sold. I know they had shortbread. shortbread. We tried some shortbread. Somebody had fudge. That might have been, maybe that was another stand. I don't think we tried theirs. Somebody had fudge. Yeah. You're right. Someone did have fudge. But... And I was worried it was so hot that day that I thought, that's just going to melt in the heat. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a mess. Yeah, but when you mentioned caramel popcorn, I'm thinking, well, yeah, but someone was selling shaved ice, too. Yeah. That doesn't really sound... <laughs> I think, the, I don't know if they just made up this name, Ginger Lassies. They're just ginger molasses cookies, but definitely a good combination. They so are. let us know if you've tried these kind of cookies before. And also, with the Welsh cakes... How you like your Welsh cakes, any particular kind you like with the currants, without the currants, or other flavors, let us know down in the comments. Yes, so yeah, we're I was so excited to see Welsh cakes because yeah, when are we ever gonna see Welsh cakes again? Unless we go to another one of these fairs. So Or uh, contact them directly. Yeah, or order online. Yeah. So yeah. Again, this was a great experience to have these wonderful sweet treats. So if you like food reactions and food tastings, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you know when we publish a new video. And until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.